Hey everyone, and welcome back to Yosemite Valley! Yes, we are back in Planet Zoo, as promised. Here's the next episode of our ever-ongoing project, Yosemite Valley. And today, it's going to be the train station built on the other side of the entrance. Now, um, this one is going to be a bit more interesting, uh, simply because I unfortunately hid uh, the point of no return. I thought uh, Planet Zoo fixed this, but it seems there is still the same. Um, now, uh, at the very end of this build, um, I placed down a tree, or I think it was a tree, and the frame rate just completely went off. It was like, okay, well, I still had in pause mode over 30 FPS, and um, it went down to like 12. And if I hit play, yeah, well, first of all, I've got a heating here then, and second of all, it's just not playable anymore. And I will try to fix this. Um, deleting that one tree did not fix it, I, I tell you. Um, I will try to fix it, um, and if not, I think I have to go back to the save that was before. And yeah, I guess I will have to... Um call it a day uh, because I, it, it's impossible to showcase I mean my computer is amongst the best out there and I'm really not sure if there's any computer that could play this park anymore um, and beforehand it was really good not gonna lie the the status as it was before was really doable um, maybe it was just a little fix and I wait until the DLC is there and the update is there maybe that fixes it you know sometimes there's also something just I don't know, just something breaks for whatever reason and it's not really because of the performance. Um, but I have to find out because, again, that's just not possible and also that's the reason why, unfortunately, we won't have a real-time part today. I would have loved to, but there's just not, yeah, you know, there's just no way of doing it. Um, over here, these things are, um, you know, just some connectors um, in order to make sure that the um, guests don't go there. So it's basically just one tick of a... Uh, stuff path and I have to cover it up this way. There's just no other way of doing it. Um, I, I think, you know, I could have done this with a little bit of a more finicky way of doing it, but I think I just leave it as it is uh, just to make sure that the guests won't go there if there will be guests in this project at some point anyways. <laughs> so uh, I have no idea, but for the moment being, I think the, the park is already pretty crowded by all the staff members I put in uh, during the creation of this project. I think we have over a couple of hundred um, staff members roaming around all the times because you know whenever I build something new I was too yeah lazy to bring the staff members over and so I always employed some new ones and so at this point I think we are like at several hundreds of uh, staff members in here which to be honest for a size of that zoo would be pretty realistic so it's nothing nothing where you would say oh that's completely ridiculous it's actually not it's really it's really close to what it w would be in real life but yeah, you can see, before we move over to the actual part of today's video, which is the train station, you can see that this is uh, just a little bit of a backstage work I did here, just to finish off these little areas, uh, just to make them look finished, you know. And there were a couple of things I wasn't too happy with, and uh, so just fixed them. Uh, you can see this staircase over here leading to the tortoise habitats um, is just uh, made accessible by a little uh, staircase that looks a bit more nice and a bit more finished. And yeah, then we moved over to the last blank spot of our part. Park, and that is the train station um, for the actual other entrance of the zoo. So you can see I will build this, um, I will connect the train uh, to the back side of this mountain um, because as I said I wanted to keep the train route um, somewhat um, you know in our imagination as if it's just passing through the zoo. It's not going to be like a circle, I mean of, of course it, it, technically it's of course a uh, circle because we have to bring it back so it actually works but um, in the in the story of this zoo, it's not a circle, it's actually pathing through the zoo, so it's not really meant to be a train that is actually going um, through the zoo as like a tour or whatever. It's meant to be like an actual train that is located in here and brings you to the next closest city or whatnot. Um, so that's, the, that's one of the ideas I had in mind. And yeah, so I just decided to do it that way, um, to just keep the uh, illusion going that this would be a real train connector from which the people uh, join the zoo. And, you know, the reason why I still keep that within the boundaries of the park, obviously, is to make sure that they use it. And uh, it seems almost like they're dropping off the train. And, uh, you know, that's that's just kind of the idea behind it. And again, I've got no idea if I will be able to pull it off with guests. I seriously have no clue if it is possible. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to complain because this, this, this zoo is, like, ridiculously filled in by now. I, I don't know how many pieces. I don't even want to know. I mean, in Planet Coaster, we could have a look into this. In this game, unfortunately, we can't know. 
Um, at some point, I might just ask Frontier if they can have a look with their tools. I just want to know how many how many freaking pieces are in this project. It is absolutely ridiculous um, because I, I really I really don't think that any Planet Coaster project of that size could even exist half half the size of that one, not even one third of the size. I think everything would explode already. Um, so I'm really impressed by how how long it was really doable in this project. So uh, yeah, I'm really I'm really trying to do my best to make it work in and make it run. And it's funny because the uh, time lapse over here looks pretty smooth and nice. Obviously, sped up this time, making it 60 60 FPS to enjoy. But in real time, it was a lot. It was a lot less to enjoy. Um, I tell you. It was a bit more of a of a little issue here and there, but you know, I'm not again. I'm not complaining. It, this is so much fun. This whole project was so much fun, and people were asking me already if I would put in animals from the DLC. And honestly, the only animal I would potentially try to get in is the Binturong, um, because I find this one very interesting. Other than that, I really don't know. And if I do put in the Binturong. Um, I will definitely use one of the existing uh, implied habitats uh, rather than a, a new one because there's just, first of all, there's no space for it. And second of all, there's like performance wise also no chance. So we do still also have the Fennec Fox habitat. And I thought about maybe using the cups of or the babies of uh, the Dole. And uh, I think that could also be a cool idea. I have no idea how they look. Maybe we even get some albinos of that one. Um, that would be cool. I think they would make some really brilliant Fennec Foxes, not gonna lie. Um, I, I thought about that as well. And um, I think, what else do we have still open? I think we do still have the... Yeah, I think this could work. We do still have the implied Mercat habitat. And I guess we won't get a Mercat in in <laughs> in the next couple of months. Though it definitely makes sense to maybe get that habitat and repurpose this to the Binturong. I think there's also some space left in uh, behind that one. So we could really make this uh, look good. And I think even the style of it fits already for the Binturong. Even though the Binturong is obviously like... I, many many times bigger <laughs> size wise uh, than uh, the um, Mac Head, but I think it still is going to work. Yeah, you can see um, one last thing I wanted to do over here and it was a little bit of a stretch to do this um, is to make a little train depot and you've seen that from the thumbnail but this is meant to be as it is there in Yosemite. Um, I I remember when I got the inspiration for this whole project, I saw this train station was one of the major inspiration points of the whole style of it. Um, there's like, a, I think it's it's kind of famous, like it's the, the Yosemite train depot. Um, I think it's not even functioning anymore, at least from what I could see there, or at least it's just that very old steam uh, train that is in there um, every now and then. Maybe it is something like in Germany, we do have this as well, like a tourist, a tourist kind of thing that you can drive around with this for a short um, for a short trek on on this classical drive or whatever, um, but other than that, I think it's not like a, a like it was. I think it was like a from the wood cutting stuff that they brought the wood out of uh, Yosemite and some stone and stuff like that. I think this is what it was meant for. Uh, and I just wanted to make this little uh, depot over here. This was the the basic idea to just build a little train depot. Um, Nothing crazy, you know. Uh, and again, at this point, I was already trying to save some pieces, so don't don't expect anything crazy here. I'm just I'm just really going in to make this a simple building. It is so much also only for the background, so it's not really meant to be something that everyone is seeing. It's just here for those people who want to go into detail and go into every little corner of the park and just have a look what is in there and whatnot. Um, so I was just doing a tiny bit of detailing here, but again, just like a very tiny bit to save as many pieces at this point as I could um, be <laughs> because I just, you know, um, I am losing my breath here already because I was already thinking about the fact like how much of a stutter it was. Um, so yeah. Anyhow, you know, maybe I keep the project until winter and then we don't need to, you know, heat our rooms uh, because we just use this park to heat our flat. Um, I think that's an idea. If, if the heating is breaking, I can still use the computer to heat my rooms. <laughs> this is... This is ridiculous, but I mean, it's still looking so good, you know, what what shall we do? It's just looking too good to not do it, uh, but you can see I'm just building that shed over here not paying too much attention on uh, These things uh, it's really making sure this is all 
simple, easy, look, looking kind of neat, looking kind of realistic, but then again, also not going to be too crazy. Yeah, I built some, you know, asphalt plaster pieces down here just to make sure it looks a little bit more like a coming out of a depot. And then I decided to also make like a second building to this side, just to, just to have something else, you know, just to have something that is uh, reminiscent of another building I found on Google Images. And at this point, I just took some inspiration from Google Images. I didn't, I didn't go too deep into uh, what it really was the purpose for, or why it was existing, or where it actually was, or if they even are close to each other. I just don't know. I just went with the inspiration and built it in a way that I think I just it just suited uh, very well. Anyhow, we are getting towards the end of today's episode, so I wanted to ask you guys, how much are you looking forward to the new DLC? I really, you know, I was honestly, I was a bit surprised of all the positive feedbacks, and don't get me wrong, it's really cool that we get a eight animal packs, but I have actually already told you my opinion on that, um, so it's really cool to see that people are super excited for all these animals. I really am... Um, very happy and positively surprised by that. So let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite animal of the upcoming uh, South American deal. Uh, South American what? South is Asia DLC. My God, uh, why? What is going on in my brain? Um, let me know in the comments. This is uh, really exciting stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I really do hope you still enjoy the content and uh, I will say this is potentially the last Yosemite episode for a couple of days until I am back as a daddy. I'm still not. Um, this is still something I have pre-produced for you guys. So um, from now on my content is gone. There's not much more prepared as of now. Um, obviously the 12 episode project is coming soon to you. Um, but yeah, that's it for everything else that is in, in before that one. So enjoy your time. Have a good time. Stay safe everyone and goodbye.